Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to September 2023 general monthly reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, Taurus, let's go through the transits. We have a lot of them. Retrograde, a lot retrograding transits this month. So first off, I am taping on August 31st, which Greenwich time is the full moon, super full moon today. For others, it was yesterday evening. And this super full moon falls in Pisces, seven degrees. And this is a big deal. And it has been for at least a week and will continue to be a big deal for at least another week and possibly even through the end of the month for some of us. And the reason I say that is because transiting Saturn is also in Pisces and it's retrograde four degrees. So very close conjunction to the super moon and not only Saturn but we also have Neptune in Pisces that's also retrograde and it's 26 degrees and it will remain 26 degrees all month long and then we also have Pluto still retrograde in Capricorn and it begins the month at 28 degrees and then by the end of the month 27 degrees we have the full moon that's actually in September on the 29th, and it's going to be in Aries, six degrees. And when that happens, it is going to be conjunct to retrograde North Node in Aries and retrograde Chiron in Aries. So that is a big deal, specifically, generally for all of us, but then also individually depending on if you have Aries Chiron or anything in Aries that you might have or Libra Capricorn so the transiting Pluto and Capricorn is uh, squared to uh, retrograde north node in Aries and retrograde Chiron in Aries. That's a big deal. So that is a big deal for all of us. And what that's saying is that it's going to be bringing out traumas, past traumas for the collective and possibly even in the United States. I can't remember if the United States has a Chiron in Aries. I apologize, I, I don't remember that, I'm not sure. But again, that's a big deal though because that's just bringing out, um, because Aries is the first house, so it's me, myself, and mine, and that is also about deep, I'm trying to think of the name, um, deep memories that, that, that are very on the base, they're, um, not survival, but that very base level, like when you were a baby or in your mother's womb, uh, stuff like that. Anyway, I won't take me longer like with that. Okay, next, Taurus. The big deal for you is we have Uranus in your sign, Taurus, and it is also retrograde and it is also conjunct to retrograde Taurus in Jupiter at the same time. So, and it's a fair, fairly close conjunction, not super, it's seven and a little beyond seven degrees for this month conjunction. But what that's gonna do, and whatever you have in Taurus, then you can expect with Uranus being in Taurus as well, and Uranus being the planet of quick, unexpected, surprising changes, expect that to happen <laughs> this month, sometime with you, Taurus. 
And it doesn't mean that it's going to be a negative. It absolutely, it's it can be it's going to be different for everyone. This is a general reading, but also with Jupiter there, Jupiter expands whatever it's next to, and so it's going to expand the energy of Uranus. So it's going to be even bigger surprise, even bigger quick change, unexpected. Okay, and then we also have Mercury is retrograde right now, and it's in Virgo. It goes direct in Virgo on the 15th, which is the same day that the new moon is going to be with us here. And again, that's the 15th, and it's also in Virgo. And it's one minute away from 22 degrees. Okay, so with that being said, Taurus, let's get to your reading. Okay, so let's take one of these cards. And Taurus, if this monthly reading isn't right for you, that's perfectly okay. You might want to try your moon, your rising, or your north or south nodes of the moon. What for Taurus? So first up, we have expression. And what I got immediately was, Taurus, this is your month to express yourself. To others, small groups, large groups, out in the world. But expression is your middle name this month, from now through the end of September. And dolphins, look at those beautiful dolphins. So creativity, express your creativity, express your fun, your, uh, I also got passionate side, but your fun, your, your fun side, your uh, enjoying, enjoying life. That's what I'm getting, that type of energy. And I just got dance with the dolphins. It's your time to dance with the dolphins. And the dolphins, they're very fun. They're very loving. They're very intelligent. They're very expressive and joyful. And they love to play in the water. That's you. Let your hair down this month, Taurus. Oh, it's number four. Here, let me, before I go on. Authentic expression. Words are powerful and truth. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, second up is peace beyond survival. There we go. Goes very well with this expression and having fun and just letting your hair down and enjoying yourself. And this is number 11. So yes, no more survival mode. No more survival thinking, thoughts. And the words are peacemaker through inner peace, resolving ancient splits. And I want to think another sign got this this month, but I can't remember who. So again, if you are watching more than one and you get the, the zodiac sign that gets this card again, that is doubly true for you. I'm also getting you're more courageous this month. Again, enabling yourself to be able to and open enough to express who you truly are without any, uh, what was that say? the saying, holds barred any, just freely doing it all the way, not holding back at all. That's what I see for you. 11 could definitely be a special number, number for you, a sign or synchronicity for you this month. Again, we're getting dolphins again. So five dolphins, no, six, eight dolphins. Because we have two, no, 10 dolphins. 10 dolphins. Because you have four in this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There are three here, four. Four, five, six. So you have ten dolphins. 
So there is a completion. This is why, and it's saying know and flow as the love you are. Bliss. Again, that's, yes, just express your loving, blissful, joyful self expression because you've completed something. The dolphins are ready to play with you. They're ready to play, they're ready to, to um, share joy with you. And that's your, this is your time to just have fun. Maybe some of you are gonna swim with the dolphins. Ah, oh, number seven, shine your light. Maybe some of you are a dragon. There's a dragon right here. A little dragon, I don't know if you can see that. And it's, again, number seven, why is action, space for grace, Quan Yin? I'm getting a very wise, wise person. You're, you're very wise, Taurus. Whatever you've gone through, you've gained wisdom beyond your years. And you're very powerful as well. I was drawn to the, the dragon again. And I don't know if that's what the dragon means, but that's what it's showing that it means to me for you, is that you are very powerful. Yet at the same time, there's an innocence and a uh, softness about you. Okay, yeah, grace. Yes, that's beautiful, Taurus. You're well-rounded is what I just got. And you're, I'm also getting you're able to let your light shine very gracefully, very dignified and very mature and, and it's just very flowy and calm calm energy I also got delightful and I don't know if someone's going to tell you that you are delightful that's what I got somebody okay so let's let's see here what other cards for Taurus. Yeah, let's get the astrology. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Taurus. What do they need to know this month? Seventh house relationship. So, this is number 45 that breaks down into a nine. So some of you, or all of you in some way, there, there is an emphasis on relationship, a specific relationship or just in general, because this is the seventh house, it can be any type of relationship, business relationship, friendship, family ship, or uh, partnership, marriage. But there is emphasis on that. Oh, I just, I just got coming together for the first time. And I'm getting that, so those words, I just got those words, but then what I got also was, for the first time, meaning it doesn't mean that you haven't been together, but however you two are coming together, and it could mean a brand new one, but it all, could also mean past life, coming into a new relationship which you knew each other in a past life, or if you are in the relationship right now, to me, that is saying that you are coming together in a brand new way that's never before, that you've never before um, joined in this specific way before, and so it's brand new. And it's something compatible, it's something, um, I also just got compromise. So maybe both of you, if you're already together, there is some type of compromise. And so then you're both compromising and going in a brand new direction for both of you in your relationship. Oh, but something having to do with compromise. So I'm not sure again what that means. But um, so we'll just, it's a general reading. So we'll just leave it at that. And let me see. 
Okay, so let's see what else for Taurus. Let's get some tarot cards and see what other details we have here. What does Taurus need to know about now through the end of September 2023? What type of expression? What are they to be going with the flow about? More details on that. of swords yeah so what I'm getting with the eight this eight of swords is and this is why I'm seeing a rise an expression and peace beyond survival because this is survival eight of swords is survival this girl she is in She's in, not a cave, but a dark cave-like setting, and she's, she's cold, and she's huddled up, and she's all by herself in, in darkness. So whatever this has been for you, you're being asked, you're being called to step out into the sunlight. She can step out through this door here. It's open. So what that's saying to me is maybe some of you, you feel like you are stuck and you are all alone. But the truth is that you, okay, what I'm getting is you must make yourself available and open, open yourself, arise, come out. And I'm getting either ask for help or be out where others can see you expressing yourself and your needs and your desires and just who you truly are is what I'm getting that because you're not being seen because it has to do with you allowing yourself to be seen and be heard and and choose choose to come out and express yourself again arise Choose joy, choose happiness. Okay. Knight of Cups. And yet some of you maybe you've been waiting for something to happen. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, you've been waiting for something to happen. So and maybe that's why you've been felt stagnant and in this waiting mode and nothing's happened yet. Well, if, if that's the case, again, this is another message, it's another variant of this, something is coming towards you and it's something that you're going to love. And maybe again, maybe you know what this is and this is what you've been waiting for. And maybe, again, maybe this is going to be that surprise, that unexpected quick surprise and quick change for you. Golden eagles could be, also you could be seeing them, that would be another sign or synchronicity for you, is what I'm getting. But whatever is coming towards you, or whoever is coming towards you, could be a what, it could be an opportunity, it can be a person, uh, you are going to love it. Okay. And I'm getting to that uh, you might want to look up the golden eagle as like a spirit animal because that might be some of your spirit animals. And I don't know if there's a donkey, if the donkey has anything, but you might want to look that up too because I'm sensing that I'm just being called to say both of those. So if any of that, if either of those sounds right for you, I would definitely do that. Okay. I don't know why I'm drawn on this eight of swords. There are 
there are pans that are like skillets on the wall. So I don't know if someone you that's listening or will be listening actually has one, two, looks like three, three or four skillets hanging on their wall and along with, it looks like a wooden spoon. So that's very specific, but again, if that is correct for anybody, then that is a considered a confirmation for what you're needing to hear. And that would be why you were drawn to this, uh, this reading today. Okay, so let me see what else. Let me see what else comes up for you, Taurus. What else for Taurus? What else do they need to know? What's coming? Yeah, the moon. So this, this full moon definitely could be bringing something towards you or it already has. It's bridging a gap. You're able to walk over into a new reality is what I got for some of you too. And so again, I'm getting, could it have any, everything to do with that unexpected surprising change that is having to do with transiting Uranus and Jupiter and Taurus, your sign. It could also mean the full moon on the 29th which is in Virgo. Maybe some of you have a Virgo moon. Close, 21 degrees or 22 degrees is what I'm getting. You don't have to though. But something is going to be made crystal clear for you is what I'm getting. I was drawn to this, the um, shadow or the brightness of the moon on, on the water. And I just got that information. So something's going to be made crystal clear around one of these full moons, whether it's already happened or it's the 29th for you. And again, I'm getting that you or some of you could have Virgo prominent in your chart, but you don't have to. I'm also getting... Okay, I was also drawn to, there is a raccoon here, and there is a raccoon here. So she is going this direction, so her back is right here. She's having to leave something or someone behind when she goes over this bridge, but someone else is waiting for her when she gets over to that other side. And that's what I'm seeing could definitely be true for her. For all of you in some way shape or form again it's, it might not be a person but these being living beings I'm, I'm seeing it to be a living being so someone for most of you but again it doesn't have to be because this is a general reading okay let me see For some of you, your third eye is, is awakening this month as well. So you could become more intuitive or open to new intuitive messages coming into you, new intuitive experiences that you've never experienced before. And you're finding out that you have an intuitive gift that you didn't know. And I just got to maybe some of you are going to dream about dolphins or there is a message having to do with a dolphin in some way, whether it's in a dream, whether it's you seeing a dolphin and then uh, some information or a knowing or you, you could hear something, but I'm getting you're going to get some type of message for some of you around dolphins or having to do with dolphins or maybe when you see a dolphin, whether it's real or in a picture, is going to, uh, for lack of a better word, download information to you. It will trigger a message coming into you. It will open you up so that you can receive a message that is necessary for you to hear this month, Taurus. 
and I was, I'm just called to read this again. Know and flow as the love you are, bliss. Okay. Some of you could have blonde hair. And specifically, blonde hair like she has. It looks it's shorter, maybe going down your neck a little bit and uh, maybe a little bit on your shoulders, but that's what I'm getting. That somebody, somebody has a very similar haircut, female. So let's see, okay, so 30, there is only light. Yes. Again, this is what you're learning about yourself. You're reaching or you're striving to reach a state within yourself, a bright, shining, high vibrational state, and that's what you've been working through and working on, and you will continue to do so, and I'm seeing that you will, you will reach what you are striving for, Taurus, and you will even, again, with this arise, and you're going to be expressing that this month. And you don't, you're not saying that you're fully going to be there, but you're still expressing your light within you, who you truly are, freely and openly. And again, words are powerful and you will be speaking the truth or you will decide desire only truth from others as well okay next is 25 and it's manifestation will that make sense your your manifestation skills are increasing and expanding and you could absolutely see something come true that you've been desiring and wanting to bring in and working through to bring into your reality this month. And that breaks down into a seven, so you have seven, seven. So 77 or 777 could also be a definite um, sign or synchronicity if you see those. So 11, sevens, and that's all I see for right now. Oh, look at this, remembers, 11, 11, 11. Remembrance, you are remembering who you truly are. Taurus, and you are now ready to begin to express that out and be you. You're rising up because of your remembering who you truly are, clearing out all those blockages, and just being you. Light. A manifester manifesting what you consciously truly desire and what is best for you that's beautiful that is so beautiful 11 11 that is amazing and you're you're going from survival into peace peaceful times survival times into peaceful times you're leveling up is what I just got wow big time that is outstanding, Taurus. Okay, well, that is all I have for you now. I hope this helps. Until next time, bye.